Hello everybody. Hope you're all having yourselves a wonderful day. I appreciate you joining me today. Now, this Bitcoin price action has been pretty interesting. You see, came down, touched the support line, came back up, touched the top of the triangle, support, and then broke through the triangle. And now, Bitcoin it's hovering right around this resistance level at approximately 39.4 and it's struggling to get above it for the time being possibly come down and correct and touch the top of this triangle here before we get some more upward action and uh yeah, you know, I just say let's not get it let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. Bitcoin's got plenty of resistance to go through before we can reach new all-time highs again. But this certainly is some good news at least. Some of the only good news we've had this month actually. We've been in this bearish action for over a month now so do I think it's over yet um honestly I don't and here's why so you can see here a market site for B this is the money flow on the daily and you can see it has been steadily decreasing which isn't good if you want the price of your asset to go up now that doesn't mean that this money flow can't turn around at some point soon and possibly start heading back to the upside But that, if it were to happen, would definitely take some time. Now, let's uh, let's check out money flow in the 12 hour, and the 12 hour is looking slightly more promising than the daily was, at least. So you can see, it looks like it's starting to curve upwards right there. but it still has a way to go on the 12 hour. On the eight hour, it's pretty close. It's pretty close on the eight hour and we have this green dot right here, followed by a pretty sharp upward turn of the momentum wave and the VWAP, which uh, obviously came with this pump right here. Now here's where it gets slightly more optimistic is the six hour. If you zoom in close, you can see money flow has taken a sharp upturn on the six hour. Now it doesn't mean we're completely out of the water because it has come up above the zero line a few other times while we were in this bearish trend that we're in. But the fact that this such a sharp turn to the upside could provide some hope for us so for Bitcoin I'd say that you know we're getting a few good signs here but we still have a ways to go now checking out ethereum there's some concerning things I want to point out, especially with the money flow. As you can see here on the daily, it's taken a drastic turn to the downside. And if you zoom in, it is dangerously close to crossing the zero line here. Now, if it does cross the zero line, does that mean we 
immediately lose hope? Well, not necessarily. As you can see over here, we dipped down into the zero line in October, but we recovered extremely quickly. We were only below the zero line in the money flow for a week, maybe even less. And pretty soon after, the money flow came back over. That's when the price started to go up again. So I would say watch the money flow on the daily. I would just remain cautious with Ethereum that is. On the 12 hour, you know, we already came down below the zero line and it doesn't, you know, it's, it seems to maybe be flattening out a little bit here, but that money flow still has some ways before it comes back over the zero line. And, uh, the six hour is looking a little bit better for Ethereum. It's, it's kind of bobbing right around the zero line that came back up over it and is currently above it, which is good news. But, in my opinion, and just to be clear, I am not a financial advisor, but in my humble opinion, I would say that Bitcoin is probably a better trade, at least this week. Now, if we, uh, if we come look at coin market cap, Bitcoin's dominance is at 45.2% and ETH's is at 17.8 so bitcoin dominance is growing ethereum dominance is shrinking now this could be good news if you consider that you know for the entire crypto market to turn around from this bear trend that it's in bitcoin's got to be the first mover bitcoin has to regain some of its dominance that is lost in this market to all these altcoins for us to be able to resume any type of bull trend. Now, do I think it's going to happen immediately? Well, like I said, we need to watch the volumes. I think we could maybe see a bit of a relief rally before maybe correcting, but ultimately I think we're gonna trend sideways for a bit longer, maybe at least until the end of the summer before we ultimately break all-time highs again. But that's just my opinion. Anything could happen, and honestly, I would love to be proven wrong on this. I'd love to just shoot straight back up to all-time highs, resume this bull run, get to 300k by September, but do I think it's going to happen? Well, Based on the evidence, I think it's unlikely. I think we need to consolidate for a little bit longer. But, I see a lot of people saying we need to come back down below 30k. I don't know about that. I think 30k has proven to be extremely strong support here. So, um, in conclusion, I would just say, you know, stay cautious, especially if you're trading. You know? feel like Ethereum's especially risky, at least for this week, while Bitcoin's trying to regain some of its dominance. But uh, yeah, be cautious. I think this summer is going to be crazy. Really wild, lots of unexpected turns of events, lots of wild news stories that change everything, lots of misinformation. Especially now that uh, you know, we have countries looking to integrate Bitcoin, looking to make a legal tender, looking to use Bitcoin as an escape from the wrath that the inflation of the US dollar has put upon their country. I think it'll cause lots of volatility, but ultimately it's what Bitcoin needs if we're going to get to the places that we want it to go.
think the summer for DeFi is looking promising. I'm thinking Ethereum, Cardano, Chainlink are all looking extremely promising for the summer. Now that doesn't mean that their prices necessarily have to go up this summer. In fact, I think they could consolidate along with Bitcoin, but I think a lot of smart money is going to be scooping up at those prices. So, you know, I'd be watching what, uh, what the big players are doing. Don't over leverage yourself. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll, uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.